Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Harjit here, and I'm back with one more video. Uh, guys, uh, I'm starting a new series on uh, system design. This is, uh, uh, you know, one of the videos as part of this series. Uh, as part of this video, we're going to talk about uh, uh, designing Uber. You know, how to design uh, Uber. If this question is asked to you in an interview, how will you uh, approach to it and how will you, uh, you know, answer this question? So let us start with this. When anybody asks you uh, this question in an interview, uh, first of all, you should try to understand uh, requirements, not only in case of uh, uh, designing Uber. Uh, if any design problem is given to you, first make sure that you, are, you ask appropriate questions to your uh, 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 interviewer. Ask him and understand what is the, the main problem that he is trying to solve. And uh, then, you know, uh, ask him specific questions uh, that how many users are going to access and you know, then, then go in detail. It's, it, it should be more of a discussion uh, with, uh, with the interviewer. Interviewers usually like it if you seek for more clarity and uh, uh, then give your opinion rather than, you know, giving half-cooked answers. So, uh, Uber is a very common use case. Uh, so, you know, if I try to give requirements to myself, uh, requirements will be uh, at high level three kind of requirements. Uh, first is going to be a user should be able to raise a request for a cab. Uh, system should be able to match uh, the customer who has raised a request for cab with the driver who is nearby and uh, then we should be able to tell the user uh, what is the route uh, that cab is going to follow and uh, what is the ETA uh, to uh, reach that cab to you and if once you have boarded it what is the ETA for you to reach to your uh, destination. So these are the three very high level things, uh, you know, uh, which I think should be there in any taxi aggregator uh, uh, app. Uh, before getting into solution, let us understand that what are the components uh, that we'll need. We have two actors here. Uh, one is uh, the taxi, another is our client. Uh, these guys can make a request for a cab uh, or you know they can tell their availability through web we need a matching system we should match a cab with the driver sorry uh, a user with a driver you know if I, am, I have requested a cab i should get matched to a driver we need a maps and eta kind of service which should tell us we should tell the matching system that uh, uh, you know what will what will be the route that will be followed and how much ETA uh, is uh, is there. We need a system to uh, store information also trips information. Uh, you know any trip that is currently happening or any trip that has happened in past. Uh, we will need uh, some storage for that. We'll need uh, a system to do analytics. You know if we you know. Our business teams may want to uh, analyze that how many trips happen, happened last, in which is the most famous area for trips, and which are the most famous destinations, so that they can plan their future things uh, or strategies or from the technical perspective also, where should be the cabs uh, mostly located, which is that most famous source of uh, you know uh, uh, cab, uh, cab requests. We also need a fraud detection system. A lot of frauds happen in, uh, you know, people uh, may try to do frauds with uh, uh, Uber. They may, uh, you know, drivers may try to fool uh, Uber systems uh, by, uh, you know, making fake bookings so that they get, uh, uh, you know, benefits out of that. Uh, we also need a, a payment and billing kind of system, but I'm not, uh, you know, uh, considering that as a problem. Uh, uh, you know, as a as a requirement in this this set of things. So at very high level, you know, if we are uh, the system that we are going to design is going to have these components. Cool. So now let us go on our drawing board. 
cool <coughs> so so we have a car pardon me for my drawing here so we have a car and uh, you know that car should keep on sharing uh, its location to our system so that we can know that where are our taxis so after a specific time say after every 5 seconds car should share share its location with uber system so that uber can track the taxis on the city in the city so we can expose a rest service for this uh, you know uh, since there will be lot of uh, taxi drivers it is better to make this uh, rest service as load load balanced this rest service should take care of uh, posting messages to you know uh, a, a queuing kind of a thing like kafka we can say, say that uh, this will store data in kafka this will post data in kafka and uh, from kafka this data can be you know read can be stored into a no sql kind of system you know since i am selecting no sql because i know that uh, you know there will be lot of uh, uh, you know request that will be there for this data so uh, at real time uh, uh, a user will like to know that where is my taxi while booking uh, you know our matching system will like to know where are who are the nearest taxis uh, we can also store this data in you know our uh, uh, hadoop system later once uh, you know at the end of the day and uh, you know then we can do processing hadoop can do uh, processing on that data any kind of analytics on that data offline analytics okay now we have our user this user is going to request this is our user this user is going to request uh, you know to our matching system this user is going to request our matching system uh, that he needs a cab now i would like to put this matching system also behind uh, a load balancer because uh, there will be lot of users who will be making the request so you know i would like uh, that request to be handled uh, in a proper way so uh, taxis will also you know if a driver is free he doesn't have any uh, you know anyone in his cab he will also send request to matching system that uh, you know i am free please match me to some uh, uh, some uh, person who is looking for cab so our matching system will also uh, need this information uh, now our uh, we need one more service here we need uh, a service which will tell us that who are the free taxis which are the free taxis this information is being sent by taxis to matching system uh, nearby free taxis so i need information about nearby free taxis uh, you know uh, in my mass matching system so that's why i need this one more service so we also have a system which is uh, eta and mapping system let us draw that also here this system is going to get input from uh, our no sql and it is going to give input to our mapping system so our mapping system is going to query uh, to eta that tell me eta for these gaps for this particular user so we are going to discuss uh, 
these three components in detail you know eta mapping and uh, matching system and nearby free taxes i think other component should be clear by now so let us go to our ppt okay so matching system so matching system can have one driver one uh, kind of controller which uh, all the requests uh, for uh, matching a taxi to a customer will come to this driver uh, whenever a customer is a request uh, it will see what are the free taxes it has and uh, it will assign that request to one of the matchers matchers are kind of slaves uh, which uh, have taken task from driver and uh, they are going to do the actual task so uh, this is uh, there are multiple ways of doing it you can take a master slave approach where uh, driver matcher can uh, 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 you know take control of uh, uh, who gets the request and all or there can be a consistent hashing system uh, which can automatically do a load balancing across uh, different machines and they can individually take handle multiple requests so it's just about handling uh, so many requests which will be coming to uh, matcher systems just by, just about deciding we can parallelize it, parallelize uh, the request and uh, we can uh, you know divide the work between multiple uh, matchers so uh, you can uh, uber uses something called consistent hashing they have a ring pop uh, system which is uh, uh, open source uh, this system is developed based on concept of consistent hashing and uh, they use uh, it's a node node js based system they use that system to do the matching uh, you know to to divide the load of uh, managing the request which are coming from customers now all these matchers should make request to a uh, nearby cab finder system uh, and uh, once they get the nearby cabs they will request uh, eta from a eta finder system so now let us understand what is uh, you know nearby cab finder system so there is a library called s2 library uh, you know which uber uses you can see it here uh, this library what it does it has uh, it divides every location on earth into uh, rectangular units you know whole thing is div divided into rectangular units so uh, every location of a cab and every location of a user can be mapped to a cell every rectangle is called a cell so uh, you know it makes it easier to calculate uh, uh, distance between those cells rather than you know calculating it uh, uh, between two latitudes and longitudes so you can see it here how, how uh, uber is matching it matching it so uh, wherever user is there we'll draw a circle around that user based on we, we can say that i want all the drivers within one kilometer of uh, radius and uh, then you know we see that that circle is overlapping to which cells uh, with the help of s2 library and uh, whichever cells it is overlapping to we take that information from our nosql database uh, that uh, give me all the caps with, within those cells so then uh, you know uber sends whatever caps list it, it gets from nearby you know cap finder it will send this information to eta finder eta finder will give calculate the eta and give back the results now how does eta finder calculate the eta so eta finder can use multiple strategies it can use historical data that uh, 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 you know historically in last one year what is the average uh, time um, uh, uh, which which it takes from uh, you know this point to uh, the point at which uh, uh, currently cab is basically the uh, uh, from driver's location to uh, uh, customer's location what is the average time uh, uh, you know across in history uh, at this particular time so this can be misleading at times uh, you know sometimes you may 
uh, Uber may start its business in new city and it may not have that city's historical data, or uh, uh, the traffic situation may be very diff different. You know, since it keeps on changing and it may be very misleading. So for that, Uber also uses the uh, active GPA locations in that area. So if Uber has a lot of customers and who, whichever customer is using location uh, information, Uber uses, uh, uh, Uber tries to, uh, you know, estimate the density, uh, estimate the number of people in that particular area at that time. And uh, they try to predict, uh, you know, uh, based on uh, density of people that how much time it may take to reach from uh, uh, for for a driver to a customer's location so now earlier uh, uber was trying to do these things by themselves now they are using heavily uh, google's library to give them eta so but google also uses at very high level these strategies to uh, give the eta so uh, let us revisit our design uh, you know uh, i think i have covered the basic concepts that you will like to cover in an interview so let us uh, revisit our design. So we have two actors here. One is our cab driver and one is the actual customer. Uh, customer can make a request. Uh, we have a load balancing system. Uh, uh, that load balancing system will send that request to appropriate uh, matching system. Now matching system will further make, make request to nearby cab uh, finder to find out uh, uh, you know, uh, the nearby cabs. Nearby cab finder will use S2 library to give us uh, nearby cabs. Once matching system know what are the nearby cabs, it can ask the ETA service that give me uh, ETA for these cabs uh, to reach to this particular customer's location. Okay, now all our cabs are uh, GPS enabled, so they will keep on sharing their location. Uh, with uh, 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 to to a Kafka queue and Kafka keeps on posting it to uh, you know from Kafka we keep on moving that uh, locations data to NoSQL uh, server uh, NoSQL kind of uh, uh, storage. Uh, you can select any open source NoSQL as, uh, uh, as database based on uh, the consistency or availability uh, aspects that you need. Uh, Uber has designed their own NoSQL system. Uh, you know, they have uh, uh, changed a lot of things in MySQL and uh, they have uh, designed their own NoSQL system. They call it schema-less. Uh, from, uh, it will store the latest uh, location of your cap uh, in which cell it is currently in. And uh, uh, historical data you can keep on dumping to Hadoop so that uh, at the end of the day, if you want to find out which uh, route was followed by my cab, how can I do route opt optim uh, route optimization of my cabs, or for any legal reasons, if you need the uh, need to tell police that you know which uh, route was followed by cab, so anything, so all those offline analysis can happen in Hadoop. Okay, so this is the design at high, uh, at very high level. I hope this video was useful for you. Uh, you know, if you have any doubts any questions please post in the comment section i'll be very happy to answer those uh, keep learning thanks for watching my channel uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you